a planet that is 650 million million miles away could tell us if there's life out there somewhere else in the universe. UK scientists announced the breakthrough, saying the planet has both water and the right temperature to potentially sustain life. The new one is about the right distance from its sun to be able to support life. Its temperature is between 0 and 40 degrees Celsius. It's around twice the size of our own Earth, and it has an atmosphere that we now know contains water. So the big question is whether there really are living organisms on this world. You know that, that if you get uh, gradients of temperature and acid and alkaline and the conditions that are naturally present on the surface of oceans, then complex carbon chemistry spontaneously happens. So we have a we know that life. Almost certainly we know that life began on Earth. I mean, the, the other option is it came from space or something like that, but it probably didn't. <laughs> it probably began on Earth. Um, so that means that at least here... that Humanity's search for life beyond Earth has led us to two fascinating exoplanets. K2-18b, a potential water world teeming with intriguing biosignatures, and WASP-76b, an ultra-hot gas giant whose iron rain and atmospheric glory effect defy our expectations. While these planets couldn't be more different, both raise profound questions about the diversity of worlds in our universe and what they tell us about the possibility of life. Located 124 light years away, K218b orbits a red dwarf star in the K218 system. This exoplanet has drawn attention for its atmospheric composition, which includes signs that may or may not indicate life. At the heart of this investigation lies the question, is K2-18b a habitable ocean world, or is there a more mundane explanation for its unusual atmosphere? K2-18b is classified as a Hyshian planet, a type of world that scientists theorize could have vast oceans and thick hydrogen atmospheres. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, revealed the presence of methane, carbon dioxide, and a puzzling lack of carbon monoxide in its atmosphere. These traits bear some resemblance to Earth's atmosphere, but the most provocative discovery was a potential trace of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound produced exclusively by life on Earth, specifically certain algae in the oceans. Methane is particularly exciting because it is unstable in planetary atmospheres, breaking down under solar radiation in a few years. Its continued presence suggests that something possibly biological, might be replenishing it. However, this tantalizing possibility is far from confirmed. To probe whether K218b's atmospheric data hints at life, scientists used two models to analyze JWST observations. The Ocean World model, this assumes a rocky planet with surface oceans that may host life. It predicts that methane-producing microorganisms could account for the observed atmospheric composition. The Gas Giant model, this assumes a planet without a solid surface or life. It relies on non-biological processes to explain methane and other atmospheric features. Both models align with parts of the data, but neither fits perfectly. The ocean world model requires life to explain the methane levels and struggles to reconcile a cool surface temperature with the likely greenhouse effect caused by the thick hydrogen atmosphere. Conversely, the gas giant model avoids the need for life entirely but doesn't account for all the chemical signatures. Future observations may tip the scales. Detecting ammonia would strengthen the case for a gas-dominated planet, while confirming the presence of DMS would provide robust evidence for life. For now, K218b represents both a mystery and a reminder of how little we know about the cosmos. While the possibility of microbial life sparks excitement, scientists caution against premature conclusions. As one researcher put it, we must test a planet's temperature and chemistry before declaring it habitable. In stark contrast to K218b, WASP-76b offers no hope for life. Instead, this ultra-hot Jupiter, located 637 light-years away, showcases some of the most extreme conditions in the universe. Yet even on this hellish planet, scientists have uncovered something unexpected, a phenomenon known as the glory effect. WASP-76b orbits its star at a scorching distance of just 48 million kilometers, far closer than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. The planet is tidally locked, meaning one side constantly faces its star, 
while the other remains in perpetual darkness. Temperatures on the day side soar to over 2,400 degrees, hot enough to vaporize metals like iron. Fierce winds carry vaporized iron to the cooler night side, condensing and falling as iron rain. This bizarre weather phenomenon makes WASP-76b a true furnace world, a place that seems more like science fiction than reality. Despite its extreme nature, WASP-76b surprised scientists with a discovery that added a touch of beauty to its chaos, a faint optical phenomenon known as the glory effect. This rainbow-like pattern of concentric rings appears when light interacts with spherical, uniform particles in the atmosphere. On Earth, glories are rare, typically seen when sunlight passes through water droplets and clouds. Outside our solar system, a glory had only been observed once before, on Venus. Detecting a glory on WASP-76b required very specific conditions. The planet's atmosphere must contain perfectly round particles, likely composed of water droplets or similar materials. The light from the host star must strike the atmosphere at just the right angle for the effect to be visible to observers, in this case, the Sheops mission. This discovery suggests that WASP-76b's atmosphere, despite its extreme heat, exhibits surprising stability. Clouds of spherical particles persist for long periods or are continually replenished, defying earlier assumptions that such planets were entirely turbulent and chaotic. The glory effect is more than just a pretty sight. It provides clues about the composition and structure of WASP-76b's atmosphere. More broadly, it hints at ways scientists might identify reflective surfaces, such as liquid lakes or oceans on distant worlds. This could become a key tool in the search for habitable planets. The discoveries on K218b in WASP-76b illustrate the immense diversity of exoplanets and the challenges of studying them. On the one hand, K218b tantalizes us with the possibility of microbial life, highlighting the need for precise measurements and careful interpretation of atmospheric data. On the other hand, WASP-76b offers a glimpse into the alien beauty of a world shaped by extremes, where iron rains and atmospheric glories dazzle against a backdrop of unimaginable heat. Et, these planets remind us of the stakes and excitement of exploring the universe. For K218b, the search for life compels us to refine our models, instruments, and imagination. For WASP-76b, the discovery of stability and chaos challenges our preconceptions about what distant worlds can teach us. As we continue to study these exoplanets, the central question remains. What conditions make a world habitable? How do we distinguish life from lifeless chemistry? And what do these alien worlds tell us about our place in the cosmos? In the words of one scientist, every exoplanet is a story waiting to be told. Some whisper of life, while others shout of extremes. Together, they're pieces of a puzzle we're just beginning to solve. Whether you find yourself drawn to the hope of life on K218b or the spectacle of WASP-76b, one thing is clear. Our universe is full of surprises. As technology advances, so too will our understanding of these distant worlds. And perhaps one day, we'll find the answers we've been searching for. Until then, the search continues.